I'm going to talk for a moment about squeaking. This is a case of a 55-year-old patient who returns two years following a left hip ceramic on ceramic total hip replacement. A uh, patient has no pain, uh, no symptoms of instability. Uh, the video shown here, which may or may not play, which I'm assuming it will not since it says squeak, squeak, uh, but it sounds something like this. With each step, it's painless but phenomenally annoying. So the question is, all of the following factors may contribute to this phenomenon except so impingement, edge loading, loss of fluid film, lubrication, third body, third body particles, or subclinical infection? The correct answer is subclinical infection, because certainly malpositioning of the implants leading to impingement, uh, leading to edge loading, both of which will lead to loss of fluid film lubrication, as can third body, body particles, have been associated with squeaking in both ceramic on ceramic as well as metal on metal implants. So squeaking, how do you define it? I just tried to uh, relay it to you. Um, it's a high-pitched audible sound that occurs during the gait cycle. It can occur in studies have demonstrated 0.5 to 10 percent with ceramic on ceramic hips and 4 to 5 percent with metal on metal hips. So revision due to squeaking uh, is typically pretty low in the range of less than 1 percent. And as I mentioned, the risk factors for uh, squeaking certainly involves some specific implant types, but more commonly associated with malpositioning of the implants leading to impingement, edge loading, component malposition uh, is a contributing factor, and all of these can lead to loss of partial fluid film lubrication. Uh, third body particles have been uh, indicted and certain stems tend to have a higher incidence of squeaking with ceramic on ceramic hips. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.